Numbers from the FBI show a dramatic drop in crime around the country. It says murders are down more than 26 percent, reported rapes are down more than 25 percent, and overall violent crime was down more than 15 percent. But that's not necessarily how people feel. Many of Americans still feel fear and a surge in crime. A recent News Nation Decision Desk HQ poll shows crime is one of the top issues Americans are concerned about in this critical election year after inflation and immigration. With us now is Robert Almonte, a law enforcement consultant, former U.S. Marshal and retired deputy chief of the El Paso Police Department, and Dave Sarney, a retired New York police detective and adjunct professor at John Jay College. Uh, thanks to you both for being here. This is an important issue. Uh, the numbers say one thing, but if people feel another, we've got to read between the lines. Robert, how do you interpret the FBI's report on a drop in violent crime? Well, I, I can tell you that they always say that, uh, you know, numbers don't lie. And, and while that is true, the other thing that is often said, and I agree with it, that perception is reality. So that's what's going on here. It's the it's perception of the public where uh, they don't feel safe. And, and I'm getting that from my travels throughout the United States. And I think a lot of that, in, in, in my opinion, is tied to the influx of the migrants coming to our country. Your story just talking about those ISIS suspects arrested, um, the FBI director warning about uh, terror attacks, uh, this dangerous gang from Venezuela, then de Aragua here in the United States committing crimes, assaulting and shooting police officers. So there definitely is a fear of crime and the law enforcement officers, they tell me through uh, when I talk to them that they don't see a drop in crime. Dave, interesting here. Some organizations say fewer police departments are fully reporting crimes to the mm -hmm. FBI as a reason behind this drop. Is there truth to that? When you talk about crime, it's not a crime if it's not reported. And we've seen lower staffing within police departments nationwide. So, and also when that happens, complaints are either pushed back. You're seeing some departments, unfortunately, having to you know close during certain hours. Um, people have to call in their complaints. And if you don't have an immediate response by police in that initial report, they may decline to report it at all. And we have seen downgrading prior to report being conducted. So these stats, you know, when you talk about numbers. You know, and I go back to Robert Disraeli. I go back to Benjamin Disraeli. There's lies, damn lies, and statistics. The numbers are there, but I, you just had a shooting in the in Times Square. You had a stabbing, a, a homicide in the Garment District. You had a major slashing in the East Village. So when you talk about numbers, we're not victims are not numbers, and unfortunately, we're seeing crime continue, and violent crime is continuing. It's not really seceding as what the numbers are showing. And how much does this have to do with recruitment issues with police departments, large and small, getting trained officers out there on the streets to help prevent and deter crime, Robert? Well, I think it has impacted uh, recruiting, although I th I'm hearing that it's getting a, li a little bit better. Uh, but I can tell you that law enforcement morale is, is down throughout the United States. I, uh, I speak to law enforcement officers throughout the entire United States, and uh, their morale is down. And I think uh, there's different reasons for that. Is I think one of the reasons is that they're tasked with handling uh, the effects of uh, federal uh, law that is not being enforced. In, the, in other words, all these migrants coming in, state and local police officers are tasked with dealing with the effects of the immigration issue. Uh, the other thing is that uh, their morale is down. They're, they don't feel they're getting the uh, support externally, and in many cases, unfortunately, uh, internally. Although it is a little bit better, uh, but overall, uh, morale is down. That would have an effect or an impact on, on recruiting. Uh, but my word to everybody out there, if you're considering becoming a police officer, please do so. We need you. And uh, I was involved in law enforcement for 31 years. I would not trade that for the world. Dave, would you agree morale is down? And what more can departments be doing to entice uh, good officers on the <clears throat> force? Yeah, staffing is down. I know that because I have the squad, five detectives in one, they're down half. So the retention is a problem. And that's our concern. So we want to make sure we retain the best and we recruit the best. We don't want to lower standards to just increase a pool of candidates. We have to make 
make this again what it is. It's a profession that is an honorable profession. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.